everyone, and welcome back to Staxel. I see a couple of you are duking it out for first. Alex, congratulations. It looks like you won. How's everyone doing this fine afternoon? Sorry I'm late. Um, my hygienist... Never go to a hygienist who knows you because they're deeply chatty. Deeply, deeply chatty. Um, <laughs> and she gets distracted and so she like cut into my gums on one part. I'm like, ow, ow. So yeah, that was, that was fun. But she's really nice, but like, ow. She was telling me that she wrote a children's book and, oh, um, am I in the right spot? I need to go make sure that this is even the right town, because I'm... Is this the right town? I don't remember. What does my house look like? <laughs> did I load up the right one? Okay, I did. Yes. Okay. We're good. I was like, what happened? Hello, Con. How's it going? I was talking about my, uh, my hygienist. Oh, wait. I needed... I was, like, right in the middle of everything. Because I needed the little glass bottles to harvest the honey. <laughs> I like this game, actually. Like, oddly enough, it's a weird little game, but... I like it. it. It gives me Minecraft vibes because of like the blocks and stuff, but it's like, oh, holy crap. Uh, uh. Okay, so he heard moaning in the forest. That could mean a lot. Leave! I wonder how my sisters are doing. Perhaps they will have headed out into the world by now. Look that I could be out there with them. Okay, Leaf, go, go. Leaf, I, ah, Leaf! <laughs> Leaf, go, why am I being followed? Leaf, go away. I just need to get these jars. <laughs> yeah, not, not too bad. Um, like I said, we were talking about the, uh, the hygienist and, it's funny because the hygienist takes forever because she just sits there and talks the whole time. And then, uh, the doctor, they, I guess they got, um, new machines or something for the, like, crowns. And so he was, like, busy doing a crown for somebody. And so she's like, I'm sure he'll be over here in a minute. I'm like, okay. Like, 15 minutes later, she goes, I'm, I'm gonna go see, like, what he's up to. And, like... My only thing is, when she gets distracted when she's talking to me, she accidentally, like, cuts up my gums. I'm just like... <sighs> but the dentist, it's always the same thing. How's it going? How are your teeth feeling? Any sensitivity? Oh, okay. Uh, you, you think it's your sinuses? Okay, let's test it. Your teeth are looking really good. You know, she cleaned up that, uh, that buildup around the lingual bar. And, uh... Yeah, it's just, it's, it's funny that the exact same thing happens, like, every single time. Because I had braces when I was younger, and so I have a permanent retainer on the bottom, and, yeah. There's always just a little bit of buildup, and they're like, you yeah, know, you're doing really good, always take care, taking care of your teeth. Although it's weird when somebody tells me that I have, like, beautiful teeth, I'm like, that I don't know how to take that. I know it's a compliment, but like, it feels weird. Okay, where am I storing these things? Okay, now those are regular seats. Wow, I'm going somewhere. I'm going places. Go places, do things. Here, here is where I'm going. We have yellow, we have a leaf, and we have a blue, and we have red, and we have 
of stone. Okay, now we can put these back. Whee! I just have to make sure I don't accidentally stay up another day because that, uh, that'll actually mess me up. And then I think it'll make me fall asleep for like a really long time. Not gonna lie, for a second I thought this was a uh, city hall, but it's not city hall. <laughs> That's the museum! I should have remembered because City Hall's a lot more decorated. It's a lot, a lot nicer looking. Yeah, I don't understand extroverts any more than they understand me. Okay, what am I doing here? Where do I want windows? What am I doing here? I'm like trying to match the style. Okay, so it needs to be the white ones. And then I think we just kind of continue on with this. I am a hermit. Honestly, if I didn't ha ever have to leave my house, I wouldn't. <laughs> do I want to do... I can do that there. Feels like a little close. Or maybe not. Okay, so there's two. Actually, that works out perfect. Not gonna lie, I've, I've done the same thing. Like, when people are like extremely extroverted, I just like, I'm like, I'm uncomfy. <laughs> I'm like, please don't talk to me. I'm, I'm good at making small talk if I'm like in a store or something and like it's polite, but if I don't have to, I won't. Oh no! It's mismatched! Ah. Oh, that is gonna bug me so bad. Because that would be this two space. And then we do another one so it would be here. Are we going to go for love of symmetry? I, I could really really like things to be symmetrical <laughs> or we do what it ah! son of a okay we're gonna copy that and we're gonna do a double window and then we're gonna do two single windows here Yes, yes, yes. And actually, what I didn't even think about, because I still haven't ordered the small windows for the museum because I didn't have the pattern, and guess what? <gasps> I have it now! Haha! -ha! I forgot I could do that. It's really funny because I can tell when I'm intensely, like, uncomfortable with the idea of talking to someone because I can't make eye contact at that point. If I get like really anxious around somebody, I can't make eye contact. And I'm like, great, I can tell that I really, really, really don't wanna to talk to you. And then it makes things awkward because I like, I know I'm avoiding eye contact and I'm like, 
Come on, Bruce. Gotta try a little harder. Gotta act like a normal person. Like, <laughs> I don't want to. Okay. Uh, we're missing a giant chunk of floor. This is fine. <laughs> I feel like I should just, like, buy random windows and just kind of, like, slap them in. Um, I can do jumping jacks. I always hated jumping jacks. What's this one? I was like, please tell me I grabbed the right flooring. I think so. Okay. Um, we legit just have one option for windows. Okay, well that's that's lame. What do we have in the way of chicken coop, capture crate, chicken feeding area, seed sign? I don't need those. Yeah, every time I go to the dentist, your teeth look amazing. You're doing such a good job. I'm like, uh, thanks. I'm obsessive compulsive. I brush all the time. I'm the only person I know who brushes my teeth three to four times a day. Because I brush them once when I first wake up, once after breakfast. If I eat something like very um, pungent for lunch, if it has like a lot of garlic, I'll brush my teeth again. And then I brush before bed. Oh, squats are, yeah, squats are, ugh. Squats were always like my least favorite exercise. I also don't like squats because I'm very prone to Charlie horses. So like, it's very easy to just get all bound up. Yeah, how often do you guys brush your teeth? Interesting question. Bitch didn't think you were gonna get asked that question today. I feel like that's normal. Like I said, I, I think I'm on the excessive scale on how much I brush my teeth. And then I'm like, no matter how much I brush and floss and do everything right, it still freaking hurts when I go to the dentist. I'm like, but, but I did everything I was supposed to. I'm like, I, I'm bad about flossing. I have like those little floss picks that I use, which honestly, it's better than not flossing at all. But I like, I just, I straight up just have issues with flossing. I'm like, I did everything I was supposed to. Why does it hurt? Oh, are we going to be short by one block? <sighs> no! We literally are short by one block. Yeah, I don't know why. Because I brush them twice in the morning. And I, like... I think it's because I don't like the... Like, I don't like my morning breath when I'm eating. And so I have to brush my teeth, but then it's like I've eaten and my teeth don't feel clean again, so then I brush them again. I'm weird. I know I'm weird. Okie dokie. I kind of wish I had walls to like start plotting out the inside. I mean, I can use this stuff. I know, I know, I know. You feel tired and you need sleep. Yes, I'm, I'm well aware of that. Oh, the rooms end up being like itty bitty in this game. 
I think I'm gonna have an open floor plan for the living room. Oh, it, it, this is one of those, if you don't go to sleep, I'm gonna make you go to sleep. <laughs> Run! Oh no, I'm too tired to, oh, poop. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to get home. I'm gonna fall asleep, I'm gonna pass out out here. Yeah, so the, the actual concern for a while was that with, like, brushing so much, that I would wear off the enamel on my teeth and start causing problems. So I had to switch from a firm bristle toothbrush to a soft bristle toothbrush because I, like I said, aggressively brushing your teeth four times a day uh, is not good for your enamel. So they're like, you can, you can still brush, just switch to a nicer, more gentle toothbrush. Like, fine. But like sometimes I feel like the soft bristle just like doesn't do enough. Oh no! Oh, ow. Ouch. That's gotta be rough. Uh, Loki. Oh, I got, I got cat food for boothing. I said I would and I did it. I, I got cat food. So now I can start working on luring and boothing. I'm super excited. And based on seeing her on the cameras, I kind of know where she likes to like frequent. So I'm going to put it under Hubs's Jeep on the side because that's where she likes to hang out. <laughs> I was like, speaking of things, Yoku and I are talking about D and D. He was talking about how um, Mindbreaker and I are like really good at the the RPing, and I'm like, I don't feel like it. Like I really just, I'm like, I'm just here for a good time. <laughs> like I do practice, but honestly, I feel like my acting skills are not very good. I took acting in college for two semesters, and uh, like honestly, I was much better being the, the set coordinator. I did not do a very good job in the acting parts. Apparently I have him laughing because he was like, yeah, you and... You guys do a really good job, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, autistic obsession because uh, comes in handy sometimes. Sometimes, other times it gets in the way of everything. See, like lore is just so much fun. I love lore building. I can get myself in trouble with lore though because like with backstories and whatnot like I have to make sure that I don't do something that's royally going to screw me over later. See and I think that everyone's doing an awesome job like I think while we're still waiting to kind of understand each other like that's one thing and it's like oh okay like you know just kind of waiting to there's a lot of stuff that we just don't know about each other yet and that's okay like we're not meant to know everything right away so 
some of the things that I find a little curious, like, uh, why are they doing that? Like, you know, it could totally be intentional and part of the story. It's just we haven't gone to that part yet. But I think everyone's doing an amazing job. Khan, I think you are doing an absolute fantastic job. I think that... Why did I buy so much green brick? I think that with the with the characters we have and our dynamics and everything, I think that everyone is doing an absolutely fantastic job and the story itself is just a delight to be a part of. Con, I know you say that things aren't necessarily going the way you want, but I think that your character is amazing. Okay, the thing is, Rosmila is only interesting because of circumstance. Like, there's nothing truly about her that's like, oh my gosh, that's like so freaking cool. Like, no, she's just, she is extremely basic. It's just she happens to have some interesting things happen to her. If it wasn't for that, she'd be dry as toast. Like, that's really the only thing that kind of, like, separates her is that she's had some some crap go down in her life. That's, that's really about it. And everyone's like, oh my gosh, like, I want to know her backstory. Like, it is basic. <laughs> like, her struggles and everything are so, like, obvious and kind of cliched. And I just, like, I guess I just don't understand when people are like, oh my gosh, like, I love the way you do the character. I'm like, I don't understand. Like, she's, I, mm. I just feel like I'm being overdramatic. Like, seriously, oh, I was cringing so hard when I was listening to the, the, what I'm going to refer to as the King speech. I was, like, major cringing. I was like, oh, oh, I was like, why does it sound so dramatic? And, you know, like, like I said, Gale is plenty interesting. I think, like, I really don't think you need to change anything. But if you want, like, more backstory, like, Rosmila's backstory and everything that affects her is really just, like, like I was saying earlier, like, where she's from, her... The people around her, like, she herself is, is pretty, pretty, like, dry toast. I just I need 11, so I'm gonna have to buy 15. She, she just seems overly dramatic. Like, I, oh, like I said, I was cringing so much. I'm like, why? Why? Why must I be like this? It sounded a lot cooler when I was practicing in the shower at one o'clock in the morning, but it is what it is. Like, seriously, I was just like, oh, listening to it. Oh, gosh, that, that, that kind of hurt a little bit. And I think I'm more nervous than anything because she is changing so much. She is changing a lot more than I anticipated. I didn't think we'd be getting such massive character changes because audio can tell you in the beginning, I was like, oh no, like non-confrontational, like she's, she's not going to want to like do this or that. It, no, now she's... <laughs> now she's like weapon of mass destruction I'm like oh why why did I do that I don't want her to like fundamentally I don't want her to actually change that much because I feel like she needs to be true to who she is and I don't really actually want her to change that much because she's already gone through so much change in a very very short life I'm like, I just, I, I want, 
I just want her to be happy because Lord knows that she deserves it after all the crap she's been through. I was like, why doesn't it line up? Because I'm stupid and I forgot the other ones. Behold, I can install windows. Yeah, we're just like super drama like all the time. Actually, this would make a perfect bathroom. Because I think that's one of the... <laughs> we're just going to block that back off. We won't use the base blocks, though. Oh, look. And it's perfect for a door. I'm actually kind of glad that I put that there because I was running out of uh, ideas. So we can actually do bedroom straight into bathroom that's not a bad idea and then kitchen I'm sorry my <sighs> adorable oh my gosh come on oi Quit your barking. Quit that barking. It's funny, I used to yell at them. I'm like, pups! And I'm like, oi! <laughs> I don't even know where that came from. I think I was watching a movie or something where that's what they said. I think it was Mila's thing. I'm expecting a major personality change from her in the next session because of things audio you know the things but i don't like i said i don't want her to fundamentally change too much i think we're going to go for another double okay but like like I said, I, I don't want the, my character to change, like, so much to where she's, like, unrecognizable. Like I said, poor thing, she's already been through quite a bit. I don't, I don't think she needs to, I think she's going to be, she needs to be stronger, and that's kind of the change that we're looking for, is she's m most certainly going to be a lot stronger But I, I want her to come to peace and make peace with herself. I think, though, that one of the major things is... <sighs> it's, it's difficult. Like, I get that the characters need to grow and change, but I don't think it needs to be to the point where they're, like... Where the players become almost uncomfortable with their characters. Because I'm kind of worried about that with Rosmila, like, that... She's going to be forced to go through too many changes, and it's going to make her, like, uncomfortable to play. See, and I haven't changed Rosmila's backstory that much. It's just I amped up what was already there. She already had the foundation for all this horrible stuff. It just, I really expanded on it. And so that's why we are where we're at with the poor, poor little bean. I love her so much. She's, she is, she is fragile. Except now everybody's like, oh my gosh, she's a freaking tank. I'm like, I didn't want that. <laughs> I'm like, I didn't want that for her. She actually wasn't supposed to be like that strong. And she was supposed, if it had worked out the way I wanted it, 
She wasn't supposed to actually kill more than one person. And it, it the one person was supposed to be, like, purely, like, I have to, like, necessity. And then, yeah, we ended up with... <laughs> we ended up with that situation. So now everybody's like, oh my gosh, she's like a freaking cannon. I'm like, I didn't want that for her. <laughs> like, my poor little bean. She's just so sad now. I keep calling her a bean. <laughs> yeah, my, my poor little bean. She's so sad now. I know of a couple things that I want for her, and I'm like, it's gonna be really hard to act that out. To act out somebody's, like, pain. Uh, but it, it's like, I gotta do it, and I know I have to do it, but I don't wanna... I'm be good with other people's pain. Yeah, but you're like, oh, we're gonna take, like, this direction and this direction. I'm like, ah! I already know what direction I want her to go in. It's just going to be... Another thing is, I can't take into account what other characters are going to do. So, that's fun. I'm like, I don't know. I don't know how to handle this situation, because people do crazy things. Let's Maybe I should do a straight up double window there. Okay, but like Yoku was talking about how he's like, oh you know, you guys do such a good job, like I could never do like an accent for my character and I'm like I didn't necessarily start out doing that, it just kind of happened for her. Like, seriously, I had no intention of doing an accent until I started, like, messing around with it. I'm like, oh, that would, that would that'd be pretty cool. And thus became Rosmila. Yeah, but the king had such, like, a... He was a very hateable person, he, you did a really good job with his characterization. Like, a lot of times it's hard to actually get characters that you, like, feel. I would say even, like, with writing, like, having a character that makes people feel things. Because, like, legit, I was actually angry during that that exchange with the king. And, like, I used that and, like, got amped up and it was like, okay, okay, like, this is, this is cool, this is how we're doing this. And it was really easy to play off you as an actual, like, character to character. He didn't feel just blank. Like, he actually had a personality. It wasn't like, insert generic person here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, there was, there was rage. And that was, it was so funny because I was like super uncomfortable with the rage, but like, it was genuine. Like, all the feelings and everything were completely genuine and it was like, whoa, like that, it felt amazing to be able to, like I said, play off of somebody like that. Andromeda's barking again. She's such a bad pup. <laughs> okay, but that that's what made it good. Like, I'm glad that that happened because, like I said, it was, it made the scene real and it gave it a depth that, like, I wasn't expecting. Because, like I said, like, as Rosmila, like, she was mad. Like, she was fighting mad. And if she had actually gotten out of her bonds somehow, 
she, I don't, I don't want to like fully comment on what she would have done, but like, she she was in a a, a good old fashioned rage. Her, yeah, honestly, if I had to pick any, like, if I had to multi-class for Rosmila, it would probably be something like a cleric. I mean, we're getting into a little backstory, but, like, there... <sighs> like... It's funny because I'm like, no, like, I, I wouldn't do that. But when I, when I was in the moment, I was straight up thinking, I'm like, oh no, like if, oh, oh crap, if they let me go, like, I'm not straight up just attack him. <laughs> like, it was so amazing to feel genuine, like, emotion while playing her. And I think it worked really well for the story and for the campaign. It's just, she's like five foot four and she's the one that's still locked up <laughs> you have gail and freaking you know and even balin like everyone else is free and she's <laughs> she's all trussed up like a chicken like the whole character oh my god <laughs> Look at that! We're 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 forcing her to create characters on the spot. That is amazing. We're hooligans. We're changing things. Okay, what? What are we doing? No sir, no sir. Okay, I want one of those. I will admit, like, I don't normally- well, how is that fair? Why is it on the roof? I don't normally, like, do spoilers or anything for the characters, like, when I'm talking to other players. I did, however, tell, uh, Yoku, I was like, I know exactly how I want to start this next episode, and it's gonna be real sad. <laughs> is everyone's house two stories here? Am I obligated to make a two-story house? Mother trucker, everyone has a two-story house. Gosh dang it. <laughs> I feel like it was really good. I feel like it was a, a natural introduction to a, a new character. And I mean, he's like gone now, but... Okay, how do you... Okay, so then there's just like another... There's like a random layer in between. I always have to study the architecture of the other houses going, what am I doing? How do I get this done? Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. I'm on top of the world! Okay, we're gonna use this as our random layer. Because we pretty much just need something for the roof to adhere to. Why am I doing that? No, that's fine. I don't remember the rules of architecture sometimes. But yeah, I well and truly enjoyed that session. And like as much as Rosmila fights, like I don't, I don't want to hurt anybody. I don't want to kill anybody. Like when she saw people in trouble, she kind of snapped. Okay, where is there? It is. I was like, please don't tell me I grabbed the orange ones. Like that really snapped. See, look at that. Just trust us to be... Trust us to be the types that are just like, No, no, we got this. We got this. I think it's amazing how well everything actually worked out. 
We're going to go to a nice secluded spot so that Rosmila can go have a breakdown. And it's- oh, I, w I want to talk about it so bad, but it's really going to be interesting how she reacts to all this. Because she is, she is like anger incarnate, but she actually like can't be angry at the same time. Mother trucker, give, give me on the roof. I did it once and now all of a sudden my platforming skills are like poop. Well, like I said, for now, we're just, she's gonna have a nervous breakdown. It's gonna be fine. She's gonna have a moment where she's going to decide something. And then it's gonna be great. If you ever need to talk, Khan, I, I, I'm great with backstories, apparently. I am the drama. love creating backstories and connections and like figuring out like what makes people tick like why would she react this way to this thing or react this way to this thing <laughs> okay audio I actually need to talk with you about the timing because I totally didn't even think about like holidays and whatnot. Oh, that could that could be a whole thing. That could that could be a whole thing. <laughs> Prismila, why are you so emotional? Because it's this holiday time. I almost want to like knock part of this out and just have like an open like kitchen dining room situation. But I'm like, no, like it's already an open floor plan. But yeah. If you ever need to talk about D and D, I love talking about D and D. One could say almost an unhealthy amount. Ugh, I hate building roofs. Like I really miss the Sims like auto roof feature. Like I could totally just like do a snap on roof, but no. Gotta sit here and actually build the roof, piece by piece. If you're talking about Yoku, he already spilled the entire beans on his uh, backstory, so I have the meta. Ah! Huh. Okay. Well. I'm prepared for anything at this point like I'm actually just glad that I got to use part of my yelling at the king dialogue that, that was fun like I actually prepped that that parts of that were I would say actually like 90% of that was like stuff that I had already prepped it's just the order was a little different and I didn't get to do that major backstory reveal, so that's... 15. So yeah, that... There were a couple things that I wish that I had been able to get to, but I just, I just didn't... I was not able to. Which is fine. It'll just have to come out some other way that I hadn't anticipated. Jamie, did you lose a yellow bunny phone? Please look forward to it. That's what he said. What a joke. This is the worst reveal stream yet. But like, but like, is the sun's out? Is it just, I, whose phone do I have? And why did I pick it up? It, 
it's it's gonna be interesting. And like I said, I don't really feel like Rosmila's backstory has any bearing on the story. Because we're a part of the story. The story is not shaped around us. So, like, she's... Her backstory is not, like... Doesn't make her an important person. But... So that's, like, another interesting thing when building backstory. Because most of the time, like, a lot of campaigns that I've seen... Like, the campaign itself is built around the characters. And it's like, oh, yeah, like, you know your characters are going to experience this and you know oh do you remember like so and so is related to so and so well guess what that's like part of the part of the overarching story like i feel like we are just in this world but the world does not revolve around our stories so that'll be interesting but right now I'm just having a lot of fun with her and the poor bean. The poor bean, she suffers. I just don't want people to be disappointed in her backstory because I feel like there's been like a certain amount of like lead up and I just like I don't want people to be like that's it be like I spent a lot of time on it I think that's just like something I'm afraid of is like people being disappointed This is fine, right? People have like flat roof houses. It's, it's totally fine. Oh, I have to put a roof on it. I don't want to. I don't know. That's just like my big fear. I'm just like I don't I don't want it to be like this lead up, and then when people find out, they're just like, oh, really? Hi, Loki. I have to like relocate things. <gasps> Shh. Mm. Well, that was unexpected and uh, unwanted. That freaking happened. Uh, okay, well, now we get to reorganize it. Okay, we're going to put like food and blocks and such. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, that freaking sucks. Imagine like going over to somebody's house and you see them cleaning up. You're like, what are you doing? They're like, I broke it. What do you mean you broke it? The shelf's just like in pieces. I, 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 I broke it. Okay, and then colored stones and stuff. Okay, but like, I like the drama. I'm not saying it was necessary, it was probably wholly unnecessary, but I like the drama. That was my problem the first time! Maybe if I stopped trying to Hulk smash things, it would be fine. Okay. So we do this and then Okay, I guess we're doing the stairs first. This and then the house. And then we have this, this, this and this. Okay. 
it's a it's an interesting mix with Rosmila. Like, yes, there is drama. She's she's got a lot going for her, and I feel like I feel like she's actually a pretty well rounded character. She's got a lot of sweetness, and I don't want that to go away. But she also has a lot of rage. Like, and that's actually been really fun. Is like as that sort of like slipped out. Like, yes, she she's a little bit of a rage monster. And you know what? I kind of love that for her. But yeah, she's she's a wee bit of a rage monster. Um, I'm I'm hoping, like I said, I want her to have a happy, like, a happy ending. And I know it's not necessarily going to be happy, happy. It's probably going to be extremely bittersweet because, like I said, she's she's got to learn a lot of things. She's going to have to come to terms with a lot of crazy crap. And, you know, she's, she's going to be hurting. She's going to be hurting, like, a lot. But I want her to... I want her to come through this crucible a better person and a more well-rounded person but ultimately I want her to be content and happy with her life because after all the freaking sadness I think that I th oh there she is she's like all the way out the frick there okay well that's gonna have to be in next day. Oh, how is there stuff all the way out here? My lord. We're just losing pieces like left, right, and sideways. Yeah, I, I want... And it's, it's going to sound odd, but, like, I want her to suffer because I want her to grow as a person. Because right now where she's at, she's very, very monotone, I guess, with her emotions. Like, she's, with her goal, with her one goal, I feel like her focus was keeping her from her full potential and now that things have kind of gone pear-shaped I think she's going to really start experiencing a change and a personality shift hopefully for the better but you know she's she is going to be made different by this and I want to explore that In the end, I want, I don't want, like I said, I don't want her to lose her, like, her gentleness. But at the same time, I want her to be a freaking beast by the end. I don't, like, I've, I'm in love with her. She's amazing. She needs to get through this, this sore spot first. And then I think once she kind of opens up, she'll be a better character. who it is <laughs> you need a shovel to dig this I don't think that I should uh... oh it it's no use so Ron, I can go no further if only there was ice cream meow <laughs> uh, Serana okay what do I do I even do I have a kitchen <laughs> do I have things I don't even know. Um, I thought, or is it in my inventory? No. Where's the recipe for ice cream? Oh. 
okay. They say go make ice cream, but I don't have a recipe for ice cream, even though it said I unlocked the recipe for ice cream. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> Life is so difficult. If only I had ice cream. That is essentially what she's saying. Yeah, I hope that people see her as a well-rounded character by the end. Okay. Okay, is it just so that I can buy the ice cream recipe? expensive okay now I have the recipe for ice cream salt cream milk white sugar do I even have a kitchen I don't even know if I have a full kitchen ha huh. no okay so what do I need for it I need mix boil mix I have a cutting station and a boiling station. I need a mixing station. <laughs> like I said, right now, I feel like she's a very flat character. Like, she's she's kind of just amped up and she's only been going in, like, one direction. So I, I hope for more from her. Salt. Where does this one... I am confusion. Ooh, ceiling lamps. Hey, I got distracted. Um, where am I supposed to get cream from? Do I have to make it? Salt, cream, milk, sugar. Where do I get cream? Peach, pancake, cherry pie, strawberry jam, chips. I haven't the foggiest idea. This is why things take forever in this game because I'm like, I don't know where to get that. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, oh, Rosmila's like. She is so easily swayed right now. Like, I mean, Rosmila's villain arc is like literally like one bad move away. <laughs> like, like I don't, I don't want her to be a villain, but Lord knows that she could if she wanted to. Like, girlie's been through enough crap. Like. She could be a villain. <sighs> I get to do the water thing again. Back off. Now my arm's wet. Okay, I will tell you, no matter what, my preference is that she does not go evil. So, I will be trying my very best to make sure that she does not um, end up becoming a villain. Like, I, I want her to have a good ending, so I'm going to try to 
keep her relatively sane. I mean, there's a certain amount of insanity that has to happen, but, like, I'm going to be trying to keep her level-headed and not uh, murder-tastic. But that poor little bean. Like I said, she's already been through so much that it's like, I'm, I'm going to be trying really hard to actually make sure she's, you know, make sure she's okay. But yeah, no, I, I agree. It, it would be very easy for a lot of our characters to uh, go to the dark side. I don't know, from, from the sound of it, I feel like Yoku wants Yumino to go bad, and I'm like, ah, please don't. <laughs> I want the good ending. I want the good ending, and I don't want to have to kill a party member, because that would, <laughs> that would be too much. <laughs> I feel like after a couple things have come out, I think, I think that Rosmila and Yumino are going to find their common ground pretty fast once backstory starts getting revealed. Because, like I said, I think I found what they have in common. And I mean, it's it's not great, but it's something to keep her from like absolutely hating. So, yay for common ground! I mean, that's all Rosmila really wants, too, so. Our characters have a lot in common. Okay, I need, I need up there. Ha ha! We're just walking along with the caravan, minding our own business, and some a-hole yanks us out and uh, just decides, hey, guess what? We're gonna mess up your lives. <laughs> you guys thought that you were gonna, like, you know, get to realize your hopes and dreams? <laughs> Not today! I feel like, like I said, once we get to a spot where we can talk, I feel like Gail and Rosmila especially are going to be more talkative. Once Rosmila gets through uh, what she's going through at the moment, because she needs she needs a moment. <laughs> Rosmila needs to have her moment and then she'll be okay. Tiles. See, that's the thing. I feel like with Gale especially, a lot of things just kind of go unsaid with him. And like, there's a depth there that nobody really realizes. Because we have people like Rosmila who's very, uh, very loud with her, uh, <laughs> with her feelings and her opinions. I feel like this many of these blocks was unnecessary. Because I can actually finish this with the 
little ones that go under. And do I really need those? <laughs> We're already stressed. We're already plenty stressed. Like, every single time I think about D&D, &D, my stomach starts clenching because I'm like, is, is this the day that I'm going to lose my character? We're stressed. Believe me, we're already stressed. <laughs> Did you not see it was Mila in the last one? Like, literally, like, hunched over, like, puking our guts up? My girly got trauma. Like I said, I, I know... I know exactly how I want to start the next episode. So that's gonna be fun. We're gonna get into that. <laughs> okay, hopefully. Ah, come on. Okay, well, I know what I want her first thing that she's going to do. I know, I know how I want that to go. You know, every time she talks about it, I'm just like, this does not instill any sort of confidence. This just makes me even more scared. And then she goes, no, but it's fine. Oh my like, no, it's not. Oh, frick. Why are you facing the wrong way? Okay, all our ideas of fun, I feel like, are two completely different ideas of fun. Because I've already told you what I feel like Rosmila's, like, good ending should be. And you're like, well, it all depends on, you know, where you guys end up. I'm like, wait, what? I'm scared for the little bean. But... If there is ever anything that you want me to, like, do with the character, like, acting-wise, I can definitely try. Although, okay, the voice is not going to get any better. The, the voice apparently is just stuck where it is. For better or for worse, it it's there. It's not what I wanted, but it's what we have. She's she's been an absolute delight to play. Like I love Mashai and I like Mashai's attitude, but like it's so fun playing Rosmila. And uh, okay, so that's not gonna work because those, those lines are not lined up. And that's going to drive me absolutely mad. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. By one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, what is that? Eight times seven. D6. Can I do math? That is the all-important question. I don't think that's ever going to happen with our group. I think that we are in a good enough spot. And even if there is fighting, it will be as characters, not- there's no- I don't think we'll ever throw any, like, personal fights in there. I don't think on that front we have anything to be worried about. Especially since we all love the story as much as we do. I think we are all invested in this story and getting it to turn out well. Like I said, uh, I have embraced the fact that it, she's there's no fairy tale ending, but 
I want her to have a good I want all the characters to have good rounded stories. Like, not gonna lie, I already, <laughs> already told Yoku. I was like, um, because he's like, I'm gonna push her, I'm gonna push Rosmila. I was like, if you do that, be prepared. Like, she might straight up attack you. I was like, she's kind of a wild card right now. <laughs> and he's like, oh, like, if you need me to, like, tone him down, I was like, no, 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 I want you to play the character. It just be ready, because she might come out swinging. I don't- I don't know. There's a lot about her that I just don't know at the moment. It's funny not knowing things about your own character. Because like I said, in the- in the beginning, she was supposed to be completely non-confrontational. She was supposed to, like, defer to pretty much everyone. Not supposed to make a big deal about anything. Like, just pretty much just, like, mousy, like, oh, please, no, like... Yeah. Just, just a little mouse is what she was supposed to be. <laughs> now she's like yelling at kings. That will forever go down in like my D&D history. <laughs> What'd you do? I yelled at a king. Had to be forcibly restrained. I'm really kind of scared to think like what might have happened if they'd actually let her go. <laughs> I'm like, ooh, that that could have been really bad. Like she's she's angry. I mean, my last character who was this angry ended up slitting somebody's throat, so it's like, uh. I feel like it definitely it definitely put a lot of pressure on her and now she's being forced to deal with emotions that she didn't want to okay so we need one two three three ranch windows and four narrow windows Okay, so we need three of these and four of those. Those should come in tomorrow. And of course the shelf is out of space. It's not good. Because the roof is done. But that looks like we're gonna be inside. Um audio, can you give me an uptime roll really quick? back. Okay, I'm gonna do one more one more day on the stream. Cause just I wanna finish that house. And I'll get that after actually. But yeah, I've had I've had a lot of fun with her. I have to make dinner. I do agree we need to how how long will it take to run through that? Yeah, so long as it won't take like a very long time, then we should be able to do that. talk for hours about D&D. &D. Like, I'm not kidding. Like, once, once, you know, once the tism took over, like, I, I could talk for ages about D&D. &D. Calm 
Con, if you're still there, I feel like we need to chat too, just to make sure that we're that people are still on the same page. Okay, so we need a bed, a table, two wardrobes, two chairs, a fridge. Holy crap, these people are greedy, and I have to buy all of this stuff. You can if you want to. No, you don't get paid. That's the, that, that is this crappy thing. Did I say fridge? I think I said fridge. Like when a bed costs five grand. And yeah, no, they they don't pay for anything. Two chairs. That's a coffee table. Okay. But yeah, I feel like at some point we need to chat too. Just because, like I said, I want to make sure that things, that people are still on the same page. And if things change, roll with the punches, but... Okay, we have a fridge. Let's like randomly put things places. Okay, so we have the fridge, two counters, a sofa, a cloth, a tub, bathroom sink, toilet, Simple, stylish kitchen. Oh my gosh. I'm like out of money. I am out of the monies. Uh, there's the kitchen sink. Oh, the beds are expensive. And then I need a table, but like everything's so expensive. And I'm like exhausting all the options. Oh, there's, there's a bathroom sink. Okay, what's in here? Oh, there's a simple double bed. It's 400. That's not too bad. Um, we're gonna get the kitchen sink. Okay, um... I think we need... I said kitchen counters, right? I'm like literally so out of money. Money is hard to get in this game too. Okay, we got... Uh, where do I want this? Cause I, know it, I know the clawfoot tub's gonna need to go in here. Oh my gosh, it's so cramped. Okay, well that actually fits perfectly in the middle. Okay, uh... Boop. 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 The house is so tiny! <laughs> okay, a uh, table, two wardrobes, sofa, closet, tub, toilet. And that's just, that's just, uh, that's the base requirements. That's just good to get them to move in. Except I'm out of the money. It looks cute, but like with the, when you're building with blocks, it makes it so much harder to actually, um, like get things nice because it takes up, the blocks take up so much room because they're thick. So like outside, it doesn't look too bad, but when you get inside and you have the walls built, it's like, oh, it's kind of like cramped. Also, who needs two wardrobes? Like, are you planning to have a guest? Is her- I was like, is her mailbox still backwards? No, it's the right way. Okay, so we're missing a table, a sofa, the tub, and a toilet. I don't even think I can order that. You know what? I'm gonna go sneak a peek in somebody else's bathroom, and we're going to steal the blueprints. 
<gasps> Whippy! Yoink. Okay, but you have like sofas and stuff. Television. I can literally take like all these blueprints so I can order them. I don't know whose house this is, but uh, they really went with the uh, contemporary. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Bathroom? Oh, apparently we can already order the cloth tub, but now we can order a toilet! If we had money. Okay, I need to find a sofa I wouldn't mind putting in that house. Definitely not that one. But still, I, I want these. I want these patterns. So, by inspecting them, that means that I can order them off of the catalog? Okay, well, definitely not that one. I will find a house that I don't mind. I think the may this is the mayor's house. He has the Victorian stuff. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I already yoinked all the recipes from his house. What about you? Are you a normal person? No, you also have the groovy furniture. What is it with people in this town? I need regular furniture! Do you have regular furniture? Please tell me yes. Oh, it looks like you have ranch style furniture. Actually, that's really cute. Coffee table. Okay, everyone has the same bathroom, so that's totally fine. Okay, well, when we have money, I think I'm going to put the ranch couch in there because it's cute. But we're broke. We're so broke. We have literally like a hundred dollars. Time to go make the monies. Which means catching a whole lot of bugs. I know people hate it when I carry the net when I run, but... I need to right now just because I don't want to have to keep like switching... I don't remember who it was, but somebody mentioned that it, like, they didn't like it because it was, like, flailing in the, on the side field of vision, so I'm like, ah, I'm sorry. We're sending things. You're joining the Sending Things Club. It's okay. We're crazy in that club. You'll fit right in. It's funny how crazy I feel sometimes, like, getting so in-depth with a character. But then I'm like, this is, this is literally what we're doing for fun. So if I'm having fun, then I can, I might as well have a lot of fun. Cool. We'll be here hunting bugs. Because I'm broke. Like I said, Con, I think I think that Gale is already a fantastic character. 
I think he's well-rounded. I hope that he stays true to, like, how we know him to be. And I, I, ultimately, I want your character's happiness. I want all of our characters to be happy. And I really hope that what makes Yumino happy is not mass murder. Because we might take exception to that. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to have to fight another player, but, like, if he's gonna go, like, Mad King crazy, then... Bees! I love bees! Honestly, it's kind of funny, because for a while it was, like, ladybugs. Ladybugs were the big trend, and then it was butterflies, and, you know, now it's bees, and I freaking love bees. I think they're so cute. When Minecraft put the uh, the bees in, oh my gosh, they're like chunky little bees, chunky little cubic bees. I think that's the thing. Like, I know that I saved Rosmila could go dark, but it would take a. And honestly, it would be harder to do that than to have her, like, make her way through her trauma that she's going through. Like, to actually genuinely make Rosmila evil, that would... That would be a feat of, uh... Impossible deeds. She might become pretty jaded, but I don't think... She doesn't have the true capacity for evil. For very specific reasons. If she didn't have those reasons and a very strong moral compass, she could go evil very fast. Because a lot of crap has happened to her and it would be like... It would be understandable for her to have a villain arc after everything she's been through. It's like, yeah... But I just don't see her going that way. She's gonna have a lot of stuff to work through. It's gonna be really hard. I'm I'm expecting to cry, like, probably a lot, but... She needs to work through her issues. Why am I not surprised that Jamie lives in the house with all the, the retro groovy funky stuff? Okay, so now I need to sell my bugs. I need to make money. Because we broke. I feel like I was hunting bugs for a very long time with very little yield. all the dirt too because we really don't need that okay so we have a wee bit of money I want to see if I can order some more of that furniture okay so let me just get a final because I know we need the table the sofa the okay we need um, table Table, sofa, coffee tub, and a toilet. I think that's all. Yeah, that'll that'll put us at her base level, which is not 
bad, but I don't think we can get all of that for $1,600. Cause yeah, that's the bare minimum just to get her to move into the town. Okay, let's see. Uh, sofa. Ranch love seat. Um, table. No, I want the. Yes, I want that. Profit. Oh. I have three hundred and two dollars. Can I get a toilet for that much? No! <laughs> Dang it! Oh, I can't afford the toilet! So freaking close. I need like 20 bucks. I need I need bucks. I need I need enough for like 20 bucks. What that be? <laughs> I can almost afford the toilet. <laughs> I was so close. Literally, I was eighteen dollars off of being able to afford the toilet, and that would have been literally all of my money, all of my cash monies. Okay, I'm gonna put it on there. Put it on there. I have money! I can afford a toilet! It's not even for my house. Like, I have literally spent so thousands and thousands of dollars building this stupid house, and I get nothing from it. Like, you get the satisfaction of helping your neighbors. I'm like... To heck with my neighbors! Okay, this this will be it. This will be it. Okay, yeah. So we are going to end the episode here, but thank you everyone so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will be back tomorrow with another episode of my Discord member's choice. But until then, I hope everyone has a fantastic rest of their evening. And we are going to go see if we can raid somebody. Let's go see. Um, oh, my hands are in cramp. Twitch, stream manager. Raid. Uh, we're gonna go raid Will Sleeps Not. Okay. I hope to see everyone tomorrow. Con, if you have time, we could talk, but it is getting kind of late for you. Audio, we're going to talk about the sound alerts. But until, uh, until tomorrow, bye!